Hi everyone, Dr. Clark here. Today I'm going to share with you a study just uh, completed in 2010 called Immune Activation by Casein Dietary Antigens in Bipolar Disorders. Okay, so let's review. What did we just say? We said that there's a connection between casein, dairy protein, and bipolar disorder. The literature over the last 10-15 years has finally recognized that inflammation is really a big part of these different psychiatric disorders. And what they did in this study was they said, hey, let's take people that have uh, these bipolar diagnoses like bipolar type 1, nerves manic, and let's see if they have antibodies to casein. And are they elevated? Are they abnormal? And guess what they found? That, that, that there were. Now you can pull the study for yourself, and I'll put the site up here on the screen. But what they found is that the degree of the antibodies to casein that these people had, which was abnormal, right? That means their immune system is having an immune reaction to the casein that they're eating in their diet. Now where does casein come from? Casein comes from milk proteins, right? There's milk, uh, cheese, uh, yogurt, anything made from milk has casein in it. And what they found is when they did the analysis of these people and did the blood work, they found that the amount of casein antibodies was correlated, correlated with the manic but not the depressive symptoms of bipolar. It was also associated with bipolar uh, subtype 1. And to me, th this is exciting yet scary at the same time because if you've ever been to a psychiatric hospital, um, they're not feeding these people a gluten-free, casein-free diet. In fact, that's all they pump into them essentially is cheap gluten and uh, cheap casein-based foods. And it just lets further credence. You may remember uh, a year or so ago I reported to you a, a, a story about a young girl whose seizures were triggered by casein. Now all the doctors that this little girl had been to basically poo-pooed that idea. But here it is in another realm. What if there are people walking around right now that you know that have these psychiatric symptoms, particularly bipolar and the manic episodes, what if those people are casein intolerant? You can test for that, by the way. There's some very good ways of testing for that. And so for me, th this is, you know, I think there's a whole new branch of healthcare that needs to come out. It needs to be called functional neuropsychiatry or functional neurology. And what it would do is look at all the problems that psychi psychiatry and neuropsychiatry looks at and look at them from a non-drug perspective. Look at them from really a molecular, physiological perspective because believe me, if we could take, I'm telling you right now, if we could take a thousand people that were diagnosed with some of these, uh, these bipolar diagnoses in the study and put them all on a casein-free diet, I would guarantee you at least half of them, their, their condition would resolve because the study says that you know, their, their use of lithium and other medications had no impact on it. And I'll tell you something else. If you took those people and put them on a gluten-free, casein-free diet, you might drop that down to 70% uh, improvement. And if you were to take those diets and then do a full metabolic workup on those people from a functional perspective, right? Look at their immune system regulation. Look at other uh, antigens they might have that are hidden, like you know, different infections and parasites that are, that are occult. Look at adrenal gland. Look at blood sugar regulation. If you were to do that, I, I venture to say that you could have a, an astonishing success rate. And one of the reasons I know that happens is that I've seen that personally happen in my own practice. So the takeaway message is this. Dietary casein antigens are related to bipolar disorder through an immune system stimulation pathway. What that means is they're inflammatory and they're causing these types of diagnoses. Now, the study didn't really go on to say that, you know, didn't really say, well, is this going to be happen? Is this true for everybody that has bipolar disorder? But they did say in this study, for sure. So if you want to help someone um, that's got any types of those diagnoses, it's time to put on a casein-free diet.